Oh uh, well, we'll see. Um, see what I can do. Oh! Oh! Whoa. Oh my nice. Don't tell me God bless me with this for real. Oh Jesus! <laughs> it's mainly as our job is to go and visit where people are and making sure they have dry blankets. Uh, they are not wet, sleeping wet, uh, so they, to prevent them from getting sick. If they get sick, it's going to be a lot more um, difficult for them where they are. So the main idea is first for us to know where people are, who's at what corner and who's at what block. And then secondly, just making sure they are comfortable as much as possible in this cold weather. And we do that fairly often during the week. And whenever there's a chance, find out their story and talk to them and see where they want to go from here. If that is what we believe is going on, then our job is try to reconnect them to somewhere, to, even if it's just us. Making them aware that they do matter to us, that will start the process of them reevaluating themselves and feeling like, oh, well, they're actually not invisible, but they can do something. So we start from there and go on until they are rejoin the community in one way or another, whether finding a job or getting benefits, getting belonging to a, a home and a community to be part of. This is my main job. The transformation that happened, even if it's one individual, that will recharge your batteries for the next two years. Because <laughs> um, a lot of people that we've seen is just think that, wow, there's no way they can live on their own. But if we listen well enough to these people, you can hear what they are looking for.